help me? Ah, isn't it beautiful? What? That? It's a giant toilet. Yeah. Steve, that's not a toilet. It's the Atlantic Ocean. Are the fish pee in it? What? Technically, yes. What about killer whales? And dolphins? Do they do their business in there too? I mean, I guess. And squids? And sharks? And the Nautilus? Does he poop in that thing too? Yeah, but... Well, it sounds like a toilet to me. And that's not even the worst part. What's that? They don't even flush. What? At least put out some potpourri or air freshener or something. It's starting to smell. Yeah. Like what? I don't know, like a crab or something. Steve, look at your hand. Huh, that explains a lot. Well, even though the ocean doesn't flush, it does do something that's kind of like it. It's called a whirlpool, and they're actually pretty cool. A whirlpool is like a small tornado that exists beneath the waves of large bodies of water. Whirlpools form from something called a current Currents are another name for the continuous movement of seawater. These swifty flowing waters can be caused by many things. Some currents are the results of heavy winds. Others are caused by a difference in water density due to temperature. They can also be driven by the rising or sinking of high and low tides. Whatever their cause, most currents travel rapidly in one direction. But sometimes two different currents moving in two different directions can collide, and when they meet, their waters begin to swirl around each other. If they're strong enough, they can begin to spiral downward. This forms a vortex, like an underwater tornado. They typically form in large bodies of water, but they've also been seen in rivers, lakes, or even at the bottom of waterfalls. You can even see a whirlpool in your bathtub. They can sometimes be seen in places where the seafloor is uneven, causing the current of the water to change directions. They can be identified by a few basic parts. First is the vortex. This is a fancy term for the hole you see in a whirlpool. When a whirlpool spins and accelerates, the natural force of the water quickly pushes all the water in its center outwards, and a column of air replaces the space the water once had. When something is pulled in by the vortex and then downwards towards a whirlpool center, we call that a downdraft. So, they're ocean toilets. No, not even close. Wait a second. All I see is a little blue thing. What? Well, maybe it's because you have a live crab on your face. Oh, this might be a good look for me. Yeah. Can you guys keep it down? I'm working on my base tan. You should probably put sunscreen on, Andy. You're gonna get burned. I'm a blue puppet. It's not like I can turn red or anything. Yeah, you got a point. Hey. What's that? It looks like a plane or something. And a crab. What? Hey guys! Since I haven't had many parts in the videos as of late, I got a job advertising for Subway. Do you like my sign? I think it's a little long. Yeah, I did speech to text. Oh no. I think we have something even bigger on our hands. Look. There it is. A whirlpool. Well, now it definitely looks like a toilet. Yeah. So what should we do? Relax. Whirlpools actually aren't that dangerous. Whirlpools causing a ton of damage is a bit of a myth. While they may have sunk ships in the past, they pose little to no threat to the large boats of the world today. Yeah. Yes. Still, they can cause danger to small boats and swimmers as they can change the direction of a boat's path or even cause swimmers to drown. Although most whirlpools are not too dangerous, there are a special type that are incredibly strong. This type is called a maelstrom, a Norwegian word meaning crushing current or powerful whirlpool. These types of whirlpools are incredibly big and strong, 
and occur frequently in a place called the Saltstroman Strait in Norway, where some of the biggest whirlpools ever have formed. Currents in this maelstrom whirlpool can reach speeds up to 25 miles per hour and measure about 30 feet across. That's as long as five refrigerators. But legend speaks of an enormous whirlpool that forms in the waters between Deer Island and Moose Island in Canada. This whirlpool is called the Old So, and it is possibly one of the largest whirlpools ever, measuring about 250 feet across. That's as high as the Leaning Tower of Pisa. What? There are also underwater whirlpools that are commonly called deep eddies. These can be especially dangerous because they can't be seen. See, Steve, there's nothing to worry about. I don't know. I still think they're big toilets. What? Well, they're not. I say we test my hypothesis. And how do you suppose we do that? We just need something small and brown to put in it. And I know just the thing. Open wide. Huh, that was anticlimactic. Usually we end with something cool or scary that ties the whole episode together. What an mess. Hey guys, thanks for watching. This one was filmed live on location, which means I had to go sit on a public beach with a camera and two puppets. Imagine all the dirty looks I got. Anyway, I have a super secret hidden coupon code in this video. Try to find it. If you do, you can get money off on all of my merch, so good luck. Now on to my patrons on Patreon who keep this channel alive, especially Liam, Basil, and Louie, Gavin, Hayden, Huggin, Sunshine Sparkle and the Pups, Ronan X and Raiden Z, Mrs. Brown's First Grade, Lawson Randolph, Zyla, Stephen McPhee, Rebecca Meany, Teddy and Josie Burke, Erickson and Alexander L, Lizzie, Dean, and Trevor, Ellie Moon and Noah Orion, Jonathan, George, Chesselton, Kent, Lava Liam, Callum G, Charlie Stone, Luke and Sam V, Wesley C, The Puffin Boys, Sophie and Remy Keffer, The Rivard Boys, Gavin and Ian Eshte, CL and Django Henry, Max C, Burning Wick, Sam and Eddie from London, Catalina Ryan from Dublin, Ireland, Lainey, Maddie and Henry, Bodie Turner, Max and Kaz, Carter, Levi and Fletcher Crawford, Zane and Asher Davis, Xavier Freeze, Creative Devin and Zach T, Kelly, Solomon Caldwell and Asa Caldwell, Millie Fennel, Jack Hartzler, Asher Machado, Christopher F, Lucia and Camilla Buendia, The Gowdy Bros and Mabsy, Ben and Ollie, Lennon McCartney, Jones Page, Avalon and Cash, Ada S, George, George Monkey, Summers, Marley and Lennon Kimsey, Jason the Kid Parker, Toothless and Light Fury, Alexander, Julian, and David, Jackson, Bear Welch, Maddie and James, Gregory Shaw, JJ Schmidt, Oshi, Liam and Evelina, Evan Lee, Silas M, John Arthur and Alice, Athena Warren, Kuchan115, Sam B and his mom from Tennessee, Benjamin M, Penny and Liam Drury, Bert, Kate, Ross, Lindy and Pepper, Connor and Emma B, Lawrence from Canada, Jakey Jake, Laser Rosen, Lucas Willette and Family, Elias Mark Turner, Asher Evans, GC, Layla Delgado, Virginia and Harrison Way, Kathan and Callan, Riker Smith, Sammy Osif, Noah Whitman, Connor LeCoke and Family, Connor Higgins, Paisley, Hanalei, Whitney and Brian, Kellen, his mom Rachel and his pup Link, Jasper Soros Rex, Bennett and Sarah Beth, Edward, Mr. Fast and Mr. Red, Jameson, Nolan and Lily, Connor Pendergrass, Mika, Jordan, and Maya, Luke Raposa, Gavin Meidel, Harper Benson, Julian, Jackson, and Jacob, Sadie May Miller. Do you want to get your name in a video too? Well, visit patreon.com backslash Mr. DeMeo. If you sign up, you can get your name in a video. You can see my videos early. You can vote on what my next video will be. You can do all that stuff I just said. Please sign up. Thanks for watching, guys.